condemning anti-Semitic violence. A Long Islander brutally attacked in Times Square is now calling for an end to these horrific acts of violence. Our Christina Singa is in Cedarhurst tonight where the Jewish community is standing up against hate. Yeah, you can see here hundreds of people gathered in this park for this rally to denounce the anti-Semitic violence that has been happening everywhere and to come out in support of a Long Island resident who was beaten in Midtown last week while he was on his way to a pro-Israel rally. Before I could react, there was someone chasing me and I was surrounded by a mob of people who proceeded to kick me, punch me, hit me with crutches, flagpoles, mace me, pepper spray me. Joseph Borgen seen in this video being beaten in Midtown last week while he was on his pro-Israel rally. The Lawrence resident says he was scared for his life. At points I thought I was going to die. I, I was on the ground. I didn't know when it was going to end. I had no frame of reference. I don't know if it was coming to help me. I'll be honest. I mean, the worst part about it is, is that I'm still looking over my shoulder. Tonight, hundreds of people of all ages proudly packed to Cedarhurst Park to rally to support Borgen and to denounce all the anti-Semitic violence occurring across our country and the world. We will not be intimidated from practicing our faith, from being proud of who we are, or expressing our love for our beloved Israel. My mother was a Holocaust survivor, and she told us, never give up and keep fighting. There was also a heavy police presence here, canine units doing a thorough sweep of the area before the event, an event filled with calls for solidarity and prayers for peace. We don't want war, we want peace. We support all countries that are free and democratic, and we want all people in the United States to have the ability to worship as they please and to be whatever they want to be. A number of religious leaders, politicians, local lawmakers, and Borgen and his father also taking the stage here tonight. Everyone here for the same thing, the call for peace. In Cedarhurst tonight, Christine Ensing, News 12.